Hello, my name is Christian and I'm the CTF noob. This time we're going to have a look at the 6 Narnia challenge from Over the Wire. We're going to have a look at our first format string vulnerability. As always, I'm no security professional, hence the CTF noob, but I'm interested in IT security and try to share what I learned so far. So let's get started with Narnia 5. As always, we begin by inspecting the challenge files on the server and see the executable and the source file from which it was compiled. In line 21, an integer variable is declared, and in line 22, a character array that fits 64 bytes. Then, in line 25, snprintf is called. snprintf takes a format string and stores the resulting formatted string in a variable. In this case, that's the first argument to the program as a format string, which will be interpreted and stored in buffer. Then, in line 26, the last byte of buffer is set to zero, and in line 27, the challenge is printed to the console. Change i's value from 1 to 500. In line 29, the if clause checks whether the variable i contains 500, and if so, gives us a shell. Afterwards, in line 35 to 37, the printf calls print information on the variables to the console, and the program exits in line 38 with exit code zero. Now that we know that the program does, let's try it out. We start by calling Narnia5 without any arguments. We can see that buffer is empty and that i is still 1. We can also see that i is at the address fff d 6 f 0 Since smprintf takes a format string that we provide as the program argument, we should be able to analyze the stack by using the percent %x parameter. We start with four a's followed by a couple of dot separated percent x's. Narnia 5 returns the four a's followed by four 41's, so the percent x parameter directly starts reading at the start of buffer. We can use this information together with the percent n argument to write to an address that we provide. Percent n writes the number of already written bytes in the format string to a given address. So if we use the four bytes in the beginning of buffer to provide the address of i, we should be able to override it. Let's try it out by starting Narnia 5 with the address of i, which is ffffd6e0, followed by percent n, since before the percent n, the four bytes of the address were already printed and i should be equal to four. And indeed it is. So the only thing we have to do is to write more characters before the percent %n to write 500 into i, and we should be done. We can use percent %x with a leading number of padding to render spaces to the string that count as characters. So let's try it out. The program sack faults. But why? Well, Percent %x also requires an argument, so it grabs the first parameter it can find on the stack, which is the address of i in the beginning of buffer. Then the percent %n does not have a valid address to write to. The easiest way to fix this is to use the POSIX parameter field extension, which allows us to specify the parameter percent %n should be using. In this case, that's always the first one, so we add the characters 1 and a dollar sign between percent and %n. The dollar sign also has to be escaped, since it is a special character in bash. With this new format string, we should be fine. And indeed, i is now 204. So we change the padding in the percent %x to 500 minus 4, which is 460, uh, 496. With that, we should be able to pop a shell. And there it is. Let's quickly check who we are with who am I. And since we're Narnia 6, grab its password file and we are done. This time we had our first look at format string vulnerabilities. It was of course easy to exploit this one since the program printed out the address we had to overwrite, but it was a great introduction. I hope you found this video interesting and could learn a little bit. If you liked the video, please give it a like, and if you want to see me solving more CTF and wargame challenges, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and until next time.